violence will not be tolerated in the city of Niles. That was the declaration made today at a press conference in Niles by the agent in charge of the FBI in the state of Michigan. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Melissa Stevens. And I'm Terry McFadden. Mark Peterson was at today's press conference. He joins us now from the studio with the very latest. Mark? You know, Niles, a city, about 12,000 residents that had five homicides last year. The message today, at least it's a problem the locals won't have to tackle alone. This was the scene in September of last year. Five people were shot. Two of them were teens who died as some serious gun violence broke out in the 600 block of 6th Street in Niles. We tracked down numerous subjects who were in possession of illegal firearms that were believed to be shooters in a lot of the incidents. And we were able to, we feel, prevent additional um, crimes from taking place. And this indictment today is the result of those investigations. The federal grand jury indictment announced today accuses 19-year-old Lawrence Slaughter II of Niles with being a felon in possession of a firearm punishable by up to 15 years and being in possession of a 9mm pistol with a machine gun conversion device installed punishable by up to 10 years. The emergence of firearm conversion devices is especially concerning. These devices, which are sometimes referred to as Glock switches or auto sears, can fire over a thousand rounds per minute. The U.S. attorney said the purpose of his presence in Niles today was twofold. First, to unveil the indictment. Second, to reinforce a federal commitment to protect the residents of Niles. It appears that several of these deaths resulted from group-related violence in an escalating cycle of revenge. Please rest assured that whether you live in a big city or in a small town, whether you work in a major metropolitan center or whether you make your living working the land in some of the more rural parts of our state, we are here to protect you and we will go anywhere to do so. U.S. Attorney figures the punishment typically more harsh in the federal courts. Uh, Lawrence Slaughter being held in the Berrien County Jail. Court documents do request to be transferred to Grand Rapids for his initial appearance on September 11th. Mark Peterson in the studio for us tonight. Mark, thank you. Well